What's up all you people, this is August, it is 11 p.m. on Thursday, I have nothing to do, my neighbors down the hill are making a hell of a lot of noise, screaming like monkeys, and I can't sleep, so I'm going to show you guys how to make siege cannons, oh yeah! Alright, let's do this, alright you guys, so let's say I have my neighbor here, and uh, my neighbor is a gigantic dick to everybody, and he's not home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow up his house with a siege cannon. With the click of one button. Three, two, one. For boom. I'll show you how to make them in a second, but as you can see, they're pretty damn fun to make. And uh, this has been optimized for maximum flight time, and uh, for the firing TNT, it's mainly composed of the ignition and then the projectile. So what we have is we have eight redstone repeaters set up as a delay. Note that the redstone repeater is at the farthest point. When you set them down, they just to repeat the signal with barely any delay. You have to put them all the way at the back in order to do stuff like that. So we set them up here. First signal goes. Takes a second to go back and activates, flies. Your enemy just got ass raped by sand and sulfur. So I'm gonna show you how to make one. All right, Panzers. So we got this little plateau of grass here. There's the neighbor's house. And there's the old siege cannon that I was just showing off to you guys. So to start off, you want to dig two uh, one by three by two trenches. Note that at least that uh, the firing end. Oh, I mean, note that uh, you want the trenches, like the open end, to be where you want to shoot because you can't really move these. Probably good for anarchy servers and whatnot. So you want to take a little stone slab, place it, two of them at the end here. Then you want to take water. Put it into both ends here. There you have your firing trough. Next step, take redstone. Note that I'm in single player here. I have uh, single player uh, commands. It's a pretty nice hack. I can fly, do all that stuff, but I'll make another video about that later. Um, set up redstone. Have a button. And next step, you're going to have redstone trailing off here. You want to make sure it does not come in contact with the main part of the trough. That is what this middle section is for. This first middle section is to set off the two TNT that will then fire the projectiles. So take some redstone, and you want to set down eight redstone repeaters. Now, I've figured this out because it's the maximum amount of uh, delay for the maximum flight time. I had a lot of time to mess around with this. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and set this up here. And, uh, yeah, okay. And working out with this redstone, making sure it's all the way at the back. 
Now take, uh, take note that the redstone repeaters will not work if they're facing directly into a turn. They have to be facing with redstone wire going into that turn, otherwise they won't fire through. Another nice thing about this hack is instant mine, instant kill, but well, I'm sure half of you guys probably have this on your computers already. So, with uh, that being done, let's uh, start this up here. Wait. Oh, crap, is that going to do what I think it's going to do? Oh, no, it's not. Wait. Wait. Oh, okay, it's not. That's cool. So we have that trailing off. And second part working. So let's put it down. That's seven. Uh, okay. Let's just put two more on the end here. That's seven. There's eight. set up time of day. It's another sweet thing about this you can just change the time the day how long do I can just spawn the giant. And there we got that big guy right there. And instant kill. No I'm guessing all of you guys know how hard those things are to kill. But that's beside the point we're not making a video on that so making sure it all runs through correctly. But I mean there's a does it reach all the way? Do I have to put it in another repeater? Yay! Works! Alright, cool. Uh, note, you may have to put in a couple extra repeaters, but just... No, nah, hell, I'm just gonna do that. To uh, repeat the signal, but with no delay, don't do anything to the repeater itself. Maybe just run them through, give it a second, and they light up with full power. So now that that's set up, all you gotta do is load your TNT and have fun raiding the castle. And schlabada bing, schlabada boom, bye bye. I do. If you don't like bacon, you are not a man. So uh, another thing you can do is increase the power of these guns. Uh, I've uh, worked it out to the point where they use six TNT to fire one, and I tell you, it shoots very, very far. It's incredible. Have a little fun with this. It's much better. Uh, mod than I am it because once you run out of stuff, you gotta log out the game. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, that one's gonna be a little less power, but uh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, there goes my old pe uh, yeah, there goes my old cannon. Well, that's just suck. So, yeah, so. That is how to make your very own siege cannon. And uh, if you're wondering what that thing was, I used it at the beginning. It's a missile silo. Pretty damn simple to make. Got them right here. Then you have fireworks if you're close enough. Also good for hitting UFOs. Suddenly Notch puts in a new update. But uh anyways to all you guys. Thank you for watching. This has been another video. And yeah. Happy siege uh Yeah, happy sieging. Hey body bag! Who's the gold? Sounds like somebody took a crap on you. Oh, body bag. <laughs> <laughs>